it's me stormy and here's your 2018 yearly horoscope now virgo before we jump in the 2018 birthday gift is up for you i have a lot of changes coming to stormy grace this year but i wanted to make sure that your birthday appointment and your birthday gift gets in there it's my once a year gift to you and i just really get pumped about putting it out there so make sure you click in the description box down below grab your spot before the birthday spots are gone and remember you book your birthday appointment based on your sun sign. So click in the description box and I will see you in that one-on-one. -on -one. All right, Virgo. So this year we've got some carryover energy that we're gonna bring from 2017 as far as the transit into 2018. And this is really where some of the work begins. Now Saturn moved into Capricorn December of 2017. And for you, this is stationed in the position of your fifth house. So this is a big year for love and romance and just things that are true to your heart it's not just love and romance it's work creativity children is a huge thing that will be on the agenda and the conversation and on your heart this year and all of those types things now while any of these areas i don't think come with any kind of ease because that's not traditionally the inner energy of saturn you're going to put in some work around it, but what it all boils down to when I look at the Saturn energy, whether you're having the best Saturn in Capricorn ever or one that's a little bit more challenging, is it comes down to you being honest. You have to tell the truth about what you're experiencing and you also have to tell the truth about what it is that you want. Now, because Saturn is here to help us mature and to grow and to put the appropriate structures that are right for us, not to create a trap, not to create a wall, to create something beautiful for us, this is a time where you're going to learn. It's like crystallizing, it's mastery, it's spiritual maturity, and it is all about you and the types of relationships you're willing to be in, in terms of being in a situation that really feeds and soothes and expresses your heart. Now, I do think that for some of you who are in relationships, you're going to really find out what those relationships look like. Some of you may be coming into 2018 and it will be a breakup year because you find out that you and another person are on a different path. It could be a place where you find out that you want to do something so highly creative that you have to break with some means of what you've been doing before. There could be a split up, but it is all in perfect timing. Whatever's trying to fall out, you want to let go. Now, the other thing that I think um, could be really positive for you is that if you will get to the heart of telling the truth about what you want, you will also have the support of Jupiter who's over here in your third house to speak it out and to speak it and share it and to communicate it in a way that it can be heard and changes can be made. Now, it's also possible that if you are in a relationship and you've been going through a little bit of a dry spell, um, or you just know that your relationship has been changing, this is a time that it can actually help bring you guys into some really nice, realistic actions and attitudes and creating a whole new structure around it that is actually beneficial to you. Now, if you're an artist or something like that, I keep getting the vision here of art. This could help you put some kind of um, commitment, hard work, structure, and what's this word? What's this word? Yep, put some kind of structure around getting to see your art out there. So maybe one of you is trying to build something, make something, and you need the right kind of structure to put it out there. Um, but the vision is very clear. You're creating structure around something that has to do with your art. You could also be doing something where you're having to step in as a parent and realize that you've got some more present parenting to do. You've got to create structure, not around, but for maybe some childlike person in your life but it's really very good and i do want to say this because i think it's important sometimes i'll see it in the in the comments when saturn is going through the fifth house sometimes we really are denied new opportunities at romance new opportunities at creative expression because it's almost like we need it we need those things to be gone so that we can get different ideas about them and so that we can see the ways that we've also been in our own ways or it's just been so out there that there was no way to bring something solid to us so if you feel like you're deprived if you feel lonely if you feel like it's just not working out look at how you can lean into the positivity of saturn because i promise you not everybody is going to be like this is the worst saturn Saturn ever. It's it's not. Some people are actually, they've been using this Saturn energy to their benefit. They have grown. They are ready to these, ready for these lessons. And what happens 
is that these partnerships, whatever those look like, these children, these um, artistic ideas, these areas of creative expression, allow you to create a beautiful sense of responsibility about, around them, allow you to enjoy them and celebrate them, as opposed to still feeling very, very overwhelmed by them. Now, like I said, Jupiter is in Scorpio and we're going to have Jupiter in Scorpio all the way until November. And this is in your third house. So you are communicating deeply. Scorpio is a deep, intense energy. You are commuting. Maybe you're communicating about astrology or numerology. You could definitely be doing those things or studying those things in the third house, but you're definitely communicating. And what I like about Jupiter here is that he brings abundance. He brings wisdom, right? He brings self-confidence in what you're saying. You're sure of what you're saying. If you do anything where you speak in the public, you sell things, you market things, um, maybe a website, of course, things with siblings and neighbors, these things are all in the air of abundance for you. If you do need to find a new place to live, I wanna say that this is very good too because Jupiter's gonna help you see the contract. Just always make sure that you're asking a lot of questions because Sometimes the rep of the apartment or housing place can be a little bit exaggerated in what they tell you and you want to make sure you're getting that on paper as well. But whatever it is, Jupiter is a very intellectually stimulated, let's study and gather new information as well kind of energy and it's very concerned with the details. Now, now this very stimulated third house energy goes very well with Uranian energy because Uranus is going to move into the sign of Taurus. For you, this is about the big mind. The third house is the tiny mind. So you have the combination of both sets of your mental energies being stimulated, on fire, innovative, blessed, abundant. You can really create some amazing exchanges and information here. Now, some of you, I'm telling you, are going to be like, I'm going back to school. You maybe want an advanced degree, right? You have this structure around your life and you're like, this is the plan. I'm never going back to school. And you decide you want that advanced degree. You may be traveling, you may be going someplace foreign. Uranus is phenomenal for creating brand new opportunities that weren't there before. Maybe you need to publish, broadcast, podcast something. But ultimately the ninth house is a lot about faith as well. And faith means, I don't know if this is gonna work out. It means I have to just trust because faith is not in what you believe, it is in your actions. If you have faith, if you you really have faith, Virgo. You are going to jump out there and say, this is not my plan. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm scared, but I'm going anyways because I have faith that my bigger, better life is on the other side of this, right? So that's a lot of what Uranus is going to bring to the table. So somewhere in there, you've got a lot of new learning experiences that will be running to the table. Now, Jupiter is going to make his move into a very comfortable placement of Sagittarius as we get to November 8th. And this will actually be in your home, family property, domestic zone. Um, and he'll be bringing confidence and abundance and joy and opportunity and maybe even things you didn't even dream were possible to your fourth house space. But what this calls for way before we get to November is letting go of the life you thought you were supposed to have, telling the truth about the life that you want so that you can have the life that is waiting for you. It's already prepared. Let go and let's move on. All right, now we also have some other energies doing retrogrades. We've got Venus and Mars taking a retrograde. June 26th to August 27th, Mars is going to be retrograde. So we're going to re, that's what retrograde is, re-look at actions, desires, movements, the ways that you're showing up in life, the ways that you're not showing up. And Mars retrograde can be frustrating, right? Now this is all going to be happening in Aquarius. So you could have some things going on with colleagues, coworkers, you know what I mean? Like you're trying to like get on the same page. You're trying to do something. You're trying to work on a project. You're trying to work on a community project and it's just not going very well. And you have to be mindful that Mars is trying to show you where you need to realign to rework. And if you do that, you will see where any project that you're working on also needs to realign as well. Venus is going to take her retrograde between October 5th and November 16th, starting out here in Scorpio in your third house. So you're going to relook at the things you think, relook at your communication, relook at um, maybe even some contracts and things in your life, and it's going to back up into Libra in your second house. So now you're relooking at how you make money right? Your value around your relationship. Libra is a relationship energy. And, and when Venus is retrograde, we relook at, reconnect, reinvent, reinvite, reconsider relationships and finance. And it will get tight because Venus needs you to see 
If the person, place, or thing that you are in constant connection with is the appropriate value and that you are the appropriate value for them as well. So it's all uh, moving you towards the greatest good kind of energy. Now we've also got eclipses that are going to be happening this year. And the thing to note about the eclipses is that the energies we will experience are much like 2017 because they're between Leo and Aquarian energies, but they're also tied to a cycle of eclipses that started in 2016. So you got to think back, Virgo, what were you working on? What were you stuck on? What was your dream? What did you, what does your heart want in 2016? And where are you at with it today? Because somewhere in there, you may find that you've been decept deceptive or delusional and you have started to not be as honest as you could and need to be in order to be successful here in 2018. So let's jump in and break this year, I said year, down by date, Virgo, all right? Right at the beginning of the year, January 31st, we have got a total lunar eclipse happening in the sign of Leo. Now, a total lunar eclipse is important because it changes the depth of what we're working with. It's going to blot out and reset your emotions here. And this is in your 12th house. So really, it is going to be a time for you to have a spiritual awakening. It's going to be a time for you to work on those projects behind the scenes. Where are you in prayer? Where are you in meditation? Where are you? Is there a relationship happening behind the scenes that needs some attention? Is there a relationship happening behind the scenes that you're trying to keep behind the scenes? Those are things that could be working on over there as well. Now, if you are a researcher, a research student, something like that, or you're trying to gather information, um, this is a wonderful energy in here, but it's still the full moon for the month. So it says something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted, and you will have the energetic support to acknowledge all of those things and make this shift that'll play out for six months to a year down the road. February 15th, we have the solar eclipse, and this is happening in Aquarius. Now, this is in your sixth house. So this is job, job skills, co-workers. I can't stress co-workers enough this year because you've got to get your mind right around co-workers, Virgo. You just really, really do. The other part about this is your health though, right? Is it maybe time for a little bit of a health check? You could be very healthy at this time, but I think this also pertains to mental health as well. Where's your head at this point of the game? Now, you can also consider that this is the new moon, so you're planting these seeds of intention, right? What do you want this area of your life to look like? Are you ready for a new job? Are you ready for a new location? What are you ready to experience in this work and health zone of your life? May 15th, we see Uranus moving into Taurus, staying here in your ninth house of the higher mind, faith, expansion, foreign travel, publishing, broadcasting, getting yourself out in the world in some way. She's going to be here all the way until November, then take that retrograde back into Aries, be there until 2019, and then come forward and we've got a longer stick with Uranus being in Taurus in 2019. June 26th, we have got June 26th through August 27th, we've got Mars taking its retrograde. I always suggest while Mars is in retrograde not to do elective surgeries if you can avoid it. July 13th, partial solar eclipse happening in the sign of cancer, actually. And I love this because you may be finding yourself in this new beginning energy at home or back home with friends. That cancer energy brings the home familiar feel into it. And it's friends, long range goals, association, networking things, wherever there's large groups and you feel at home or you feel a part of the bigger picture, you could find yourself nestling into this a little bit. But I think this also gives you a brilliant opportunity to expand yourself in social media in some way, shape or form. July 27th, we've got another lunar eclipse happening in the sign of Aquarius. So you can have something ending with the job, job skills, coworkers. You could even be losing a job at this time. I think that that is absolutely a realistic possibility. And it could be that you lose the job because you decide that it is not in alignment with who and what you want and you leave. So that's something to consider there as well. August 11th, we've got a partial solar eclipse, new beginning energy here in Leo, again in the 12th house. Those behind the scenes things have an opportunity to take shape and to have new beginnings put on them as they get ready to move out into the world. October 5th through November 16th, we see Venus doing her retrograde cycle starting in Scorpio and then moving back into Libra. So dancing between that third house and the second house. And there's definitely a space of value, communication, and a way that you make money that will come to the table that you need to review. I do think for some of you Virgos, um, this will be a thinking 
reevaluation for you as well. What serving, what thinking is serving you or is not serving you? I think that'll definitely come up for you. Now, as we end the year, November 8th, Jupiter is going to move comfortably into its rulership sign of Sagittarius. We get comfortable, we get big, we get expansive. Your fourth house gets lit up, home, family, property, real estate, domestic things. You could be moving to a bigger place, right? You could be moving someplace you feel comfortable expanding. Um, you could be renovating, fixing things, but whatever it is, your family relationships, your home relationships get stronger and feel a lot more in time and on board than maybe they have. There's just a ton of abundance that suits up and shows up for you as Jupiter makes this move into a new sign and into a new house for you. All right, guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to take advantage of your birthday appointments. Click in the description box down below. Thank you so much for spending this last year and this coming year with me, whether you're old or just meeting me for the first time. I'm really, really delighted to have you here. I look forward to walking through the next week and the next months of the year with you. So don't move, subscribe, and definitely like this video, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys.